Hi, thank you so much for joining me for week 18 of my fitness journey in 2020. When I set out to do this vlog at the end of uh, December of 2019, I was all excited, but very soon I found this um, very burdensome and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so much work to record everything, to put it together, to edit it, to publish it. But then some of you encouraged me to keep going, even though I don't have too many viewers watching it, uh, that was not my intention to start this vlog in the first place. But now this week, I was like, you know what? I would actually miss this vlog if I didn't have it going. So putting it together this week was actually a lot of fun. Which brings me to the topic of wellness. A lot of times we procrastinate. We don't want to work out because it's not fun. Uh, working out is painful for a lot of us. Even for me, as much as I enjoy working out, sometimes in the middle of a workout, I'm like, this is enough. Why am I pushing myself so hard? But then I make myself finish it most of the time. Once in a while, I will turn it off, I'll be honest, but that's usually because it's my second workout of the day. And that's what I've been doing actually in quarantine uh, with less working hours, with more free time. I told myself, this is probably the best time to get in better shape by committing more time to my yoga practice, more time to my jump rope practice. And the more you do something, obviously in time you will get better. So that's what my hope is. This week I started doing exercises twice a day and most days I've been able to do it and I'm coming up with newer ideas, more routines in my HIIT workouts so that I can bring those ideas to you. I hope my journey is encouraging you to take good care of your health because without health, we have nothing. So please invest in your health. It does take a little getting used to, but just like anything else, once it becomes so ingrained in you that it's like brushing your teeth, hopefully you're brushing your teeth every morning and every night, but you know what I mean. You don't wanna just get out of bed and go to work. Um, maybe these days you do because you're sitting in front of a computer at home, but you know what I mean. Uh, you want to practice good hygiene that kind of goes for working out too you want to make it a part of your life so here's my week for you to watch and you can see that regardless of where I am what my conditions are I am pushing forward good morning this is day one of week 18 I'm still here continuing this vlog now it's kind of become a habit and I am enjoying putting this out there for you. I only hope I remember to record all my workout sessions for you so you can see my progress. I'm off to breakfast, pick up some breakfast, put it in my room and then go talk to my boys. Right after I spoke to my boys, I went and practiced my jump rope and then it was time for yoga. And this is kind of an idea of a sequence that I've been doing all of this week. And uh, it's quite challenging for me. The first few days, it really made me sweat. And now as I'm watching it, uh, watching the recording, I'm seeing how much more improvement there needs to be made. But at the same time, I do appreciate myself for putting in the effort. So I'm not trying to find fault with myself, but also seeing what a long way I have to go. And this practice is just gonna keep going for the rest of my life, hopefully. And I will only get better and better with time and keep uh, getting more flexible, more limber, and stronger as time goes by. Yoga has taught me to appreciate bringing balance to both sides of my body. The left side of my body is a lot tighter than the right. And as I'm practicing more and more, I realize how much more I need to keep stretching on a daily basis to get there. Yoga is also teaching me how to be more patient I used to want everything now or even yesterday, but daily practice is teaching me that life is a journey and you have to enjoy each step, savor each step. And I have to be patient with myself and accept myself the way I am in order for me to grow. On average, I try to do an hour of yoga every morning. And then if I can find time, I also spend at least half an hour every evening stretching because I am not one of those very limber people and I need to constantly be working on it. 
Typically, I eat two meals a day. This is my brunch, and then I eat dinner around 5.30 or 6 o'clock, and no snacks. Good morning, this is day two. It's a beautiful morning, and I'm headed to go work out before I head to work. I had a great chat with my boys yesterday, tried recording them on the sly, but the recording, the screen recording was horrible, so I decided not to include it in this vlog. But anyhow, today I am planning to record a video of some of the yoga moves that I've been using to help open up my shoulders and upper back so that I can get better at jumping rope. So hopefully I'll be able to film it without too many disturbances because as I told you, I'm in a shared space, people are walking by, and so I'm just gonna have to do the best I can. Other than that, not a whole lot going on. Oh, and another thing, last night I colored my hair. I used a natural product called henna and the leaves are crushed into a powder, then mixed into a paste, applied for several hours. And then the result is that it covers your grays naturally and it gives the hair a really nice tint. So I'm not sure if you can see the tint, but um, it, it's kind of orangish and I actually love it. It goes well with my hair and it suits my hair. No allergies to that, thankfully. So I do that about once every three to four weeks. I got about 45 minutes of a jump rope practice in, but there were other people in the space that they were watching a video and working out to it. So I could not record my yoga practice for opening up the shoulders. Hopefully this afternoon or tomorrow, as and when I get a chance. Now I'm off to work. I enjoyed brunch in my room. And then in the late afternoon, I was able to record the video that I'd been planning on opening the shoulders and the upper back. There were some disturbances in the background, but this is what it is. And then it was time for my own yoga practice. And at the end of that practice, I usually put in a few minutes trying to get into the crow pose. I'm still not very good at holding that balance. And I also get into my plow pose to improve spinal flexibility. After that, dinner time, knitting time, and bedtime. Good morning, this is day three, and I'm ready to start my day with a HIIT workout. And then if I have the time, I will add my yoga practice as well. Yesterday, I was able to practice in the evening because I didn't have time in the morning. I had a early morning start at work. So I'm trying to stay consistent and also trying to keep a good record of my workouts so you can see how I am progressing. Other than work and working out, not much else going on in my life. Uh, it's pretty routine over here. But um, what, a couple of days ago, I received my stimulus check from the US government. I don't need the money. Thankfully, I have a job, but one of my sons lost his job. So that money will be going to help him. So I'm grateful, so grateful that I have a job and I can take care of my family and myself. I hope you guys are safe at home and able to take care of yourself in these difficult times. This morning's jump rope practice was all about footwork and speed. I completely forgot to record my yoga practice, but the rest of the day was pretty uneventful. Good morning, this is day four and I'm on my way to exercise. Last few days, our work hours have been reduced because of the pandemic to limit our exposure to other people. So I have a lot more time on my hand. And I've realized is that once work is over, I'm not really moving around a lot. So what I did yesterday was I cleared a space outside my room so that I could do an additional jump rope workout. And I also made space in my room for yoga. Hopefully I'll be able to ramp up my workout routine because there's not a whole lot to do other than that. So it's good to stay active and fit during these times and maybe even get in better shape than I was before this uh, pandemic started. I finished my jump rope practice and my yoga practice and now it's time to work on my shoulder mobility. I've already made a video about this. It should be posting next week. And I told 
my viewers that I would be practicing for the next four weeks. So I am going to hold myself to that. And every day I'm gonna work on opening up my shoulders because the left side of my body is way stiffer than the right side. So, and the right side, and the right side is not that flexible either. So hoping that this will help me improve flexibility overall and bring balance to both sides of my body. I feel I can press my palms more into each other and drop my elbows, drop my shoulders, and push everything back while keeping my navel in. I ate my usual brunch after I got back to my room from work. I'm ready to practice my evening yoga in my room. I'm so happy I set it up the way I have. Let me show you. I had a spare blanket, so I put that on the floor and my yoga mat is on top of it. And then I'll be able to practice with my wheel. Space is tight in my room, so I really didn't have a place to place my camera to get good angles. After that dinner, relax and bed. Good morning, this is day five. It's Sunday, it's my day off. It's so nice not to have to rush to go work out in the morning because I have to be at work. I can take my time this morning and really relax and enjoy the day. It's a beautiful sunny day, but you wonder why am I all covered up? It's not cold, but that's not the reason that I'm covered up. I'm covered because the desert sun can scorch you very fast. The reason I cover my hair is because of the dust. The dust gets in my hair. And then when I lie on my pillow, I'm sneezing because the dust is now on my pillow. And then I wear a dust mask and um, I try to keep um, you know, something full, full sleeves on all the time so my arms are protected. This morning I practiced more hip opening yoga and um, I used to think that I can really kick my leg up high but when I look at my video I'm like oh wow there's still lots of room for improvement lots of more space that my body can find. So my leg is not going up as high as I used to think it was but that's okay I plan to get there eventually. After yoga was done, I went to work. And then after work, I was able to put in a half hour jump rope practice in. Okay, cool. I'm done with my workout. Now I can go eat. See you, Dre. I don't mind eating the same thing every day for brunch. I quite enjoy it. In the evening, I was able to do another HIIT workout. And then this evening, what I did was I did some strength training in yoga, a pretty tough routine, but I challenged myself and I pushed myself through it, even though halfway through, I was very, very tempted to stop the video and say, okay, enough is enough. But I was like, no, finish up, because at the end of it, you always feel better. I was served a heaping portion of food for dinner. I couldn't finish it all. Good morning, this is day six. It's about 6.45 in the morning and I'm on my way to work out and possibly record another workout video. I came up with another workout routine yesterday that I think is interesting and a little bit different. So I'm keen to try it out and record it if possible. I've probably mentioned it before that I have um, sciatic pain in my left leg and the physical therapist had given me a couple of exercises to do and I have been lazy uh, believe it or not as much as I am on the mat working out I don't know why I have been procrastinating and not doing those exercises and I can feel the pain in my leg actually in my uh, butt area all the time when I'm trying to sleep it's uh, a little painful every time I turn I wake up so from today onwards no excuses, I am going to do those exercises once a day, if not twice a day, because the pain is quite annoying and it needs to go, especially when I know what to do. Oops, I just realized I've left my keys in my room and I might lock myself out if I don't go back now and my roommate's gone. It's not a big problem, I can get another key, but it's a hassle, so I'm on my way back so I can get my key and then go work out. 
The building was quiet, no one was around, so it was easy for me to film my workout. Then I did the exercises that the physical therapist gave me, followed by my yoga practice, and ending with my shoulder stretches, which I am continuing to do daily. I've been consistent in my practice, and now I can feel the opening in my shoulders when I do this exercise. Everything seems a little bit more balanced. Then it was time for work, came back, ate my brunch, and a great jump rope workout in the evening. Hot and sweaty, I've just finished my second HIIT workout of the day, and I feel great. Pure indulgence. I mean, why not? <laughs> Good morning everyone, this is day six. No, this is day seven. And I just finished practicing a backward jump workout. The entire workout was jumping backwards. So I've been working on that for the last two days and it's so much more challenging than jumping the regular way. In just 20 minutes, I've worked up a humongous sweat and I'll probably do the same workout in the evening. After this workout, I went to work. Once I came back, I ate my usual brunch, and then I did five loads of laundry today. Yes, five loads, uh, including my comforter, pillow, sheets, and all that good stuff. And then I jump rope with my friend Dan. We did one of my HIIT workouts. Another ass kicking jump rope session with Simi in an undisclosed location <laughs> somewhere in the Middle East. As you can see, I'm sweating profusely. Awesome. My heart rate's like 140. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Thank you, Simi. Dinner, shower, knitting, and bed. And that's it from me for this week's video. I will see you again next week. Bye.